Hi there, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is just a quick overview snapshot of what's coming up for you in October, Taurus. So your intuition is really on fire this month, so you want to pay attention to it. Anything it's trying to tell you, you know, stop, just go inward, have a little bit of quiet meditation. And really, quiet meditation can mean just having some time by yourself and take notice of what it's trying to tell you. So the lunar eclipse early in the month is in your 12th house. So it's going to prompt you to think about your dreams, hopes and wishes, what it is that you really want to achieve in your life. Are you heading in the right direction? What are you going to achieve over this next year? If you if you didn't do goals at the start of the year, then this is certainly a good time to do that. If you did, a great time to review them. So um, don't allow a tough time to get you down, Taurus, because I know that many of you have been going through a, a little bit of a tough time or a big <laughs> lot of tough times. Time. but life is changing and whenever you're in chaos then the, you know the one thing for sure is that your life is going to switch around so it's almost like you've got to go through that storm first but it is changing and all for the better so stay optimistic okay the solar eclipse later in the month on the 23rd right opposite your, your sign in your solar seventh house this is your relationship zone so this is going to signify a new beginning with love Okay, so, and it, certainly if you're in a relationship, it can go to the next stage over this time um, or be the start of discussions. Mercury is retrograde still though, so it does not come out of that retrograde transit until the 25th and Mercury being the communication planet, any discussions you have that are of a sensitive nature, you want to be a little bit careful that they don't get out of control. Sometimes it's the least said is the best you know way to go so um, but after mercury comes out of its retrograde transit you can get news of your work and your career so that can come through now for you and you might start to hear you know um, you know things that are happening but with mercury retrograde it can be delayed so don't worry too much it's uh, what's what's meant to be is meant to be it's going to happen okay what you want to do now is let go of any past feelings or any feelings of fear that you're holding on to because that can literally you know block um, you know what you want to attract in your life so you want to think positive but also you want to feel it and raise your vibration so you feel worthy of attracting whatever it is that you want in your life okay so your big message from me this month is to let go of the past to embrace change coming in Okay, so it's just a snapshot this month. I'm working on a huge project. I hope I'm going to bring to you early in the year. So um, a little bit time pressured, but I wanted to give a, an overview for you. Don't forget to go into the websites. The New York Daily News have a great article I've put together on um, the eclipses and Harper's Bazaar has one online uh, about uh, your moon sign and lots of other information on the mistress of astrology. So love and love to you. I hope you have a fabulous month. Good things to come. Bye for now.